hello again in this video I'm gonna show you how to use the helper option for the draggable element this is a basic HTML uh, code I have my draggable element with ID draggable also to gain some time I write the draggable element and apply the draggable function to it also I call the jQuery and jQuery UI file and I call the jQuery UI CSS file let's begin mm, let's uh, first of all see the page this is our page working the trackable element working so let's begin by apply the helper options I have a helper uh, first thing let's uh, begin by uh, definition of the helper uh, what is helper helpers are elements that are dragged instead of the original element they are useful when you want to leave the original element in place but still allow the user to drag something from the element to somewhere else in the page let's see this in action the helper option could take three possible value it could take the original option value or the clone or it could take function a function this is the original value is the default one as you can see here this is the default the clone uh, it's cloning an element from the draggable element and function uh, function it is a function that take uh, an event as a parameter and return the element to be uh, cloned uh, programmatically with the code let's begin by checking the original value let's refresh the page as you can see this is the default nothing thing change it is just the default one let's write some text inside let's say drag me as you can see so let's try the clone value as you can see the element inside our dragged element has been cloned I can add the revert to true to add some animation to it as you can see it look like uh, for example in the web we found an example of color palette we can we, when we, you you could drag the color from a palette to an, to an object to apply that color on it so uh, we have also the function my fine let's create this function as I said it take an event as a parameter and 
return our dragged element let's remove it from here and add it here it's very simple the only thing it is we it will be created program programmatically with our code that's it as you can see the element is created programmatically we could add a style to it uh, I hope this will be useful and helpful for you uh, thank you for watching if you like uh, this tutorial please subscribe to the channel thank you bye bye